what was it like when when you ran a four by um, four by one gold? You know, and I think didn't you win the Euros as well, or was it the Commonwealth? Yeah, no, we, oh, you know, we won both. Euros, won Euros twice, and then we got silver at the yeah, Commonwealth. Commonwealth, um, yeah. What was that like for you? Um, you know, working so hard and going out there and doing your thing. You know, mm. training with that group as well for such a long mm. period of time. Yeah, I mean, uh, relay is my favourite event. Uh, if I'm being honest, but I love the relay because you get to experience. If you're successful, you get to experience it with your team members, um, and it's kind of it's more fun. You know what I'm saying? Whereas, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot more pressure on the individual fence. I know, I know, we're kind of we've turned into this relay culture now where everyone's putting so much pressure in the relays, and we're doing really well. To be honest, which is a good thing, but. I think there is uh, something to enjoy. It's kind of it used to be back in the day something you do at the end of a competition, and it's like a bonus. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But yeah, I missed the I missed the relay. I remember the days. I miss all that. Yeah, trust me, man. But nah, like British athletics and that so flipping hung up on really. They're scared, man. Like it's 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 like a safer option. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you got like youngsters like OJ, who was the British champion, who he's not funded. You got people like James Desolu in 2016, who was a British champion, who is not funded, and that's because they won't dance along to the hymn sheet of right. You need to conform to the relays and do this, otherwise you're not getting funded because they're scared. Because you're, you're, you're taking a safe option, but athletics isn't about taking the safe options, mate. You've got to go out there what you believe in and compete. And actually, if you get a, more of a competitive culture like the states, for example, like the states don't ramp. You go to the trials. If you're not top three, we don't care who you are. You're not on the team. And, <laughs> yeah. And what that does, yeah, what that, does that, yeah that, that keeps that keeps their team evolving and keeps them solid, because people that make the team are have to be on point. They they, don't, they can't sit back and be comfortable. And the relay for them is just a joke thing. It's like right, we do that at the end of our main events, yeah, and they still do well, right. So, mm, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That that breeds more success, really, long term. Like obviously, we've done well in the relays, but. They're so scared to fund an individual because they don't they don't have the belief they they don't have the belief in their own athletes individually. What are you there for, mate? It's madness. Yeah, because you're there to support. But could you be a finger of comparison, you know, trying to compare yourself to bigger countries in a way, because the US is a massive country, they've got a bigger pull. Mm. Could they be mm. trying to compare themselves to, oh, US every Olympics get this many medals? Mm. We don't, you know, we are, have we ever got top three? You know, we're never I mean, like really up there. Do you, know, do, do you know what? One number one, you can't compare yourself because, like you said, America is a big country and there's way more people, right? Um, number two, we've got the same gene pool. We've got we we've, we've got just as much talent sprint wise as the states. Yeah, if, if, we've probably got more actually. If you go to ratio to numbers of people, look how many young sprinters we got right now that can run sub ten. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, again, it's just it's some. It's a coward's mentality, man. Like you can't. How do you expect individuals to 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 evolve and become gold medalists if you want, number one and support them? I'm not saying they need the support to make it to the top, but it does help a little bit more if you've got the support, especially from your own governing body who's supposed to be supporting you. Um, yeah, there's just so many things I could say about it. It's just a joke, man. Because even if you, if you look at it, if you look at it in the way of um, if young youngsters are looking at you know the likes mm. of everyone that has been to the Olympics, that have been to the international comps, and they're mm. and they're going like, fam, I saw you, you know, you're not even driving this car or what, you know, people see it that way. People see it as a luxury lifestyle when they see you on TV, but that's what mm. that's what they assume anyway. But a lot of athletes are not in that situation. A lot yeah, of people, if you haven't got sponsor, you're not in that situation. You're having to deal with that yourself. So. Right. How are we meant to? How are people meant to keep growing this sport or keep getting involved in this sport? We always there will always be speed. There will always mm. be speed. It's just will this speed come into athletics or go somewhere else? You know how yeah, well, they well, the, the sport. I mean, well, that's the thing. I mean, it's kind of like number one. When I used to look at the Olympic Christie as a kid, I wasn't looking at. I didn't. We didn't have social media, but I wasn't looking at cars. I was looking at his success on the track. That's what inspired mm. me. Yeah, seeing him win gold medals for his country. Right? that's what got me into athletics so number one if people are looking at any glitz and glamour that's the wrong thing you're not you're not cut out for sport anyway you shouldn't even be looking at it right um and number two it's kind of like 
just if you just focus on your passion and focus on what you believe you can achieve, I'm not saying everyone can achieve what they believe they can achieve because it's tough. But if you do succeed in achieving it, and you and you like that stuff as well, which I mean, everyone likes a bit of money in their pocket. That will come, but you can't focus on that. Um, and again, it's kind of like I just think the whole thing, the whole the whole thing just needs to be brought down and rebuilt because. It's, it's, it, it, you, every kid gets into athletics because they love the sport and they love to compete. And then when you do get to the sport, way. yeah, exactly. But because when you get into the system and then suddenly you realize that actually they're not really there to kind of support you. They're there to provide their own company with jobs and have big wages. So the reason why they're not going to put an individual into the, even if you've got the A standard and you've earned your place for the Olympics, whatever, they might not even put you in that spot. Yeah, because they think, oh, actually, if I put James in 100, and even though he's run 10-0 this year, he's probably not going to get a medal at the Olympics, right? And actually, yeah, kind of ratios for our funding from UK sport, it's not going to look good because we sent so many athletes there who've come back with no medals. We're not going to get our funding for the, for, for the next four years. That's what I believe mm. it's about. So, I don't know, man. It's just, I so think it's, you no, need to... It's actually not about the athletes. It's more about the people who no. you don't see on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. Hundred percent, man. Otherwise, why is it? Why have we got a, a, a young British champion that couldn't get, was not individually funded? O, I mean, talking about OJ, why was he not mm. funded? Do you know what I'm saying? Why was James yeah. Asolu not funded after winning twenty in British champs in 2016? This is the second fastest British hundred meter run of all time, and he's not on funding. Do you do you also think that the way that British athletes like to portray athletes in the media doesn't help? Did that come through? Or? Um, I don't know. I don't think they do enough. Do you, and, do you know what like I think? Favoritism wise. Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, if, if there is any of that stuff, which there is, I, I, I just think you kind of, athletics ain't that sort of sport. You need to, like I said, you need to have it like the Americans. If you just leave the athletes to themselves to compete, mm. yeah, they'll create their own stars within the sport. Yeah. You don't need to nurture. There's no, there's no point nurturing a certain speak person because you've got a little agenda or because just leave everyone to evolve. If you let everyone evolve, then it's just going to create more success. It's going to be more competitive. It's going to be a tougher team and you're going to have better competitors. But when you've got like somebody going to a national champs and they have to, they have to make sure they get top two, otherwise they're not going to the champs or you got a guy, another guy that's kind of, hold on, what's going on here? Yeah, I think everyone should just be put in the same boat, man, simple. And then just l- leave it to naturally evolve. And that's, that's, that's the way you get more success and stuff like that. 